Hey guys, Jake with 8020 Media here. In the early 2000s, the Vortec engines were the staple of the GM V8 engine family. The 5.3 liter, 4.8 liter, and 6.0 liter Vortex were the main engines that were powering your Silverados, Sierras, Suburbans, Yukons, Escalades, and so on. The 6.0 Vortec at the time was the largest engine that you could get in a 1500 series truck as well as the most powerful one that was offered. And then in 2003, GM came out with the Vortec Max. This video is gonna discuss what the Vortec Max is, some of the difference between the Vortec Maxes and the traditional Vortec engines, as well as a little bit of history and facts around what the Vortec Max is because there is a ton of incorrect information out there on the internet as well as a ton of misleading information for a couple reasons that we'll cover later. The Vortec Max is essentially a high output version of the 6.0 Vortec that was offered in certain Sierra, Silverado, Yukons, etc., in higher trim levels. That's just the basics. There are actually two different generations or engine variations of the 6.0 Vortec Max. The first one is the LQ9, which was part of the third generation Vortec engine family, and this was the original Vortec Max. It produced 345 horsepower and 380 torque, which was a 20 horsepower and a 10 torque improvement over the non-Vortec Max engine option. To achieve these higher power levels, the engine had higher compression as well as flat top pistons. These LQ9s exclusively came with 410 gearing to allow for higher towing capacity as well. In 2007, GM switched from the third generation of the Vortec to the fourth generation of the Vortec, and therefore the Vortec Max engine got a little bit of a refresh. The new Vortec Max engine came out with the L76 engine designation and essentially is an LS2 engine with active fuel management on it. It's still very similar in design to the previous LQ9, but in comparison, the L76 used an all aluminum block instead of a cast iron block. It added active fuel management. It had variable cam phasing as well as variable valve timing, none of which the first generation had. The second generation one produced 367 horsepower, so it got a nice 22 horsepower increase over the previous one, but actually had five less torque, coming in at 375 torque. We've got the LQ9 from 2003 to 2006, and then the L76 from 2007 to 2009, but there are a lot of history and other helpful and different information about these Vortec Max engines that we should go ahead and jump into. The first Vortec Max was actually not called the Vortec Max. When it came out in 2003, it was known as the 6000 or Vortec 6000 HO, which standed for high output. And so the Vortec Max designation didn't come until later down the line. When this high output 60 Vortec originally came out, it was only available in the Silverado SS, which was the top of the line performance model for the Silverado at the time. And that Silverado only came with an extended cab, all wheel drive, short bed truck. And so if you wanted the high output engine, that was the only option that it came in. And it only came in three colors at the time as well, a red, a blue, and a black. In 2004, the 6000 HO engine option became a dealer available package that dealerships could order in the state of Texas. So in 2004, the Silverado line got access to the Vortec HO 
that previously only the Silverado SS had. And then in 2005, it was expanded to all of the other dealerships. So 2003 was the only model year where the Silverado SS was the only Silverado that could get the Vortec Max or the Vortec HO. Additionally, once they offered this option for the non-SSs, that meant that you no longer had to get the highest trim level or the most expensive trim package to get the high output engine, but you did have to get the sport handling suspension package. All of the earlier generation Vortec Maxes all have the upgraded suspension package because you couldn't get the Vortec Max or Vortec HO without having that package on your truck. Additionally, for the Vortec HO, it was only available in two-wheel drive at the time. The only thing that wasn't two-wheel drive was the Silverado SS, which was an all-wheel drive truck. Now, in 2006, GM came out with the marketing term Vortec Max. This was a marketing term to promote the fact that this engine had more power than the standard 6.0s, and it was a good gimmick at the dealerships to essentially get customers to buy a higher package or a higher trim of the truck because to get the most powerful engine, you had to be buying the top level trims of these trucks. It was a good marketing ploy from them, but that's when the Vortec Max name came out and when they started putting some branding on these trucks, both on the side of the trucks as well as on the engine cover that says Vortec Max on it. Alongside the Vortec Max branding, you were now able to get this engine with the standard 17 inch wheels and the standard Z85 suspension. Whereas previously you had to get the 20 inch wheels and you had to get the sport suspension, but now you could get it with standard suspension and 17 inch wheels with the caveat being that you had to get the towing package, which did feature some suspension upgrades within it. So with that being said, any Vortec Max does have some form of upgraded suspension. Even the ones that had the factory Z85 did come with the towing package that had some suspension related upgrades to be able to handle higher towing capacities. Additionally, in 2006, it started being offered in both two wheel drive and four wheel drive, rather than previously just being offered in two wheel drive. Another interesting thing with the Vortec Max is, is that it came with the 4L65 four speed automatic transmission rather than the 4L60 transmission. This is something important because the 4L60 transmissions are known to be a little bit more problematic and the 4L65 is a very good, very strong transmission. So all of the trucks that have the Vortec Max engine do have better, stronger transmissions. Where things get interesting is there are a lot of people out there who have 5.3 liter Vortex or have the standard 6.0 Vortec, but think that they have a Vortec Max. And that is because back in the early 2000s, there were a lot of dealerships that were branding their 5.3s and the 6.0s with the Vortec Max branding, even though it did not have the 6.0 Vortec Max engine in it. On our article on the blog, we get a lot of people reaching out saying, hey, I've got a 5.3 liter Vortec Max, but the truth is there is no such thing. The only Vortec Maxes were 6.0 liter engines and they came in two engine variations, and that is the LQ9, which is the first generation, and the L76, which is the second generation. The first generation of the Vortec Max, or the Vortec HO to be proper, really probably offered more of a performance upgrade over the second generation. When you compare the second generation Vortec Max to the factory engines that were being used on the other Silverados at the time. They actually have less torque, but just a little bit more horsepower. It's not as much of an upgrade over the factory engines compared to the first generation of them. To sum all of this up into a two sentence explanation of what Vortec Max is, is Vortec Max is a higher horsepower version of the 6.0 Vortec that's used in trucks that have some form of upgraded suspension, and for the most part are higher trim levels. We're actually about to go and buy a Silverado truck here soon, and so maybe, just maybe, we'll get one that has the 6.0 Vortec Max in it, and then we'll do a video on that. 
The trucks with the Vortec Max surprisingly really aren't any more expensive than the standard 6.0 Vortex. The market doesn't necessarily price any premium into the Vortec Maxes, but they're great engines and so if we can find one, I'm going to do that. That wraps everything up for our video on the Vortec Max. As always, we have a guide on this linked below on our Chevy Trucks website. If you appreciate this content, please subscribe to the channel, click the like button, and stay tuned for more GM content. Thanks guys, we'll see you in the next video.